Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? I hope you guys are having a great Friday. If you could, hashtag replay below if you no longer see the live up in the corner, the red box. If you do see live in the corner, you see that red box says live. We are currently live, so hashtag where you are watching from so I can see you how far and wide this goes. Okay, let's get started. So today, uh, I I have been wrapped putting putting ideas together I'm thinking I'm gonna do a a possible Valentine's Day look series so if that is something you are interested in or you want me to do let me know in the comments below I would love to hear you guys and if you guys have any suggestions or any kind of whatever palette you want to see let me know or if you want me to send a picture I will send a picture but let me know so today we are going to look at palette number three I love this palette so much because of these colors like I love purples but also this pink is fantastic and it makes such a great smoky eye look anytime anywhere if you have brown eyes or hazel eyes this is your best friend this would look fantastic for you but normally when I use this palette I pretty much go for like the purples well today I'm gonna focus more on the pink usually I make the pink this is tickled into a transition color but I'm gonna that's gonna be our main focus today like I said I'm I'm I've got Valentine Day on the brain so let's get started. I primed my face and my eyes and I pressed my eye primer with palette one with the color Elated which is that matte cream color to go with my skin tone here and I also put on my foundation you guys again and did my eyebrows again if you want me to continue doing it this way have my face foundation already on let me know below. If you want to see the whole shebang, let me know. Say, I want to see the whole thing. You guys, all of this is featured on my website here that I am posting. You just click down below at uniqueproducts.com uh, backslash Christina Wellful. Christina Wellful is capitalized. My C and my W. Alright, I'm going to get this post-it and we will get started. Hopefully this will pin today because they keep updating Facebook. Alright, let's see if this pin, uh, it posted twice. Hey, that's pinned. Alright, if that pin, you saw that, if it did pop on twice, I'm sorry. But if you saw that below, hit that like button. Let me know that it is working for you because it's working on my side. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to go into Determined. And I'm going to use my crease brush. Now this is a matte gray color. Well, I guess kind of a gray lilac-y color. This is just going right here. You know me and my hooded eyes. I always go start above my crease there and bring it down. Oh, also, if you want me to just do one eye... You know, have like one eye finished already and then go through what I'm doing. Let me know below too. I want I want to hear suggestions. Give me suggestions. If you hop on, say hello. Hashtag where you are watching from. Alright, just getting this on in my crease. And just, like I said, I bring this down pretty much all the way down. And guys, you share this video tutorial. If you think someone is going to enjoy this as much as you are, hit that share button. Sharing is caring, you guys. So me some love. All right, so I'm, and I angle it down. That way I can create that lift. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I want Tickle to be, to stand out so, so much. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go into Cheeky which is this glitter purple color. Again, I'm going to I'm going to go crazy and we're going to put a glitter in the crease. And again, I'm using my crease brush here and we're going all the way down into that corner. And don't worry you guys, we are going to blend all this out in just a little bit with our awesome blending brush. If that is one tool you need to have, the blending brush, you need to have the blending brush in your makeup drawer. I'm just saying. It makes things, putting this stuff on so much better. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. 
like I said, I want to make Tickled Pop. Because it is a pretty light color. It is a pink color when you just put it on by on its own. But I want it to pop. So I'm actually going to use my rose water today. And I'm actually going to wet that color and press it on there. That's cool. That's all right. Which one did you pick? I'm curious. Which one did you like? I was sanitizing, yeah. Yeah, poor Natty. I hope she gets to feeling better. I'm sorry she has the flu. That's no fun. Get cheeky on here. Boop, boop. All the way down. Bring it all the way down. Alright, you guys. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to make tickled standout more. So I'm going to spray that color with my rose water just a couple of sprays and then I'm going to take this smells so good <laughs> I'm gonna take my liner shader brush this is a dual ended brush and I'm gonna go in that color so we are going to stipple in that color and make sure you get some of that pink now tickled is a matte color that's why I I am wetting it so that I can it can be vibrant and you're gonna see why here just a minute look at that Look how stunning this color is when it is wet. I really wanted this color to really stand out and really be the center of attention. Because, hey, it's Valentine's Day. And when I think of Valentine's Day, well, not today, but, you know, it's coming up. I'm thinking pinks and purples and whites and reds. So that's the one eye. I'm going to make sure, and I'm kind of going into the crease with this as well, just so I can get it into a smooth color. All right, let's do the other eye. The pink one, yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> how'd you like my, uh, my, um, my, uh, my, my liquid liner there? I was goofing around. I just wanted to see what it did. And I'm patting this on. Even though it's wet, I want to really want to pack it on there. So patting helps a lot. All right. So while that is gonna, I'm gonna let that dry for a bit cause it is wet before I do anything else to it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So let that dry and then I'm gonna take my ankle sponge brush and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlights. I'm gonna go with Smitten, which is a satin color. It is a it's very shimmery makes for beautiful highlights so I'm going right there in the corner just so we can brighten up our eyes here and then right here underneath Normally I use my angled brush side to do this, but I like the sponge. It just I can pack it on just a little bit more. Look at the Pong Star liner. Yeah, I may have to do that one. Day. I may have to do a tutorial on that one day. One day. Maybe when Valentine's Day is over. I hope his clouds are getting dark, so I'm going to try to hurry before I lose light. Okay, so now I feel, I'm feeling that the pink is dry, tickled is dry, so I'm going to go into Irate, which is our black here. 
makes make way for this because this is great to smoke out any look or at least with this palette but you can also use it as a great eyeliner and I'm just kind of going right there in the corner just doing that in the corner like I said I'm going to go back with my blending brush here in a bit after I get everything situated that seemed like I put a little too much product on that end, but it's okay. And then right, just doing the outer V. Hi, hi Jordan, how are you? Alright. Blending brush, your best friend. Hello, hello, if you're just joining, hashtag below where you're watching from. I would love to see where everyone is watching from and how far this is going, making its way around. Alright, so I'm just blending out irate that I just put on because we are making a little... S I guess I'm going to say this is kind of a sexy looking Valentine's Day. But like I said, I really want to focus on the pink and just kind of smoke it out. Make a great Valentine's Day look for a night out with your significant other. So I'm just doing little circles here and windshield wiper emotions with this brush. Either way, it'll it'll help blend all of this together. Do do. Austin, Texas, yeah. My home. I miss it. It's okay. We'll be back. We'll be back soon. Don't know when, but we'll be back. Alright, just clearing this up. If you got a shine wipe, this helps out a lot when I don't throw in my drawer in my bathroom. <laughs> like I said, I always use my concealer to clean that up. Alright, I'm going to bring Determine down below on my lash line. Going all the way across. And then I'm going to get my liner side and I'm going to go into a rate, which was that black color. And then I'm just going to kind of bring this just all about two-thirds way over. Not too far. Because I am going to be adding some black pencil liner on the bottom here. On my waterline. All right, actually, let me do a little bit more cheeky in the crease there, just because. There we go. Okay. All right, let's get the black liner in my liquid liner, because you guys know I love liquid liner. So I'm just using the black liner on the bottom on my waterline. Sorry if this grosses you out. And I'm lining the whole bottom there. I know they say that black, any dark colors on your waterline is going to close off, but we're going with a sultry look today. Boop. 
part and then wipe this off. I find it easier to apply the liner when it's on the waterline when it's been wiped off. You can use like a Q-tip or like I did with your finger. So have you been home all day with Natty being sick, Brittany? I just realized that. She was sick. <laughs> I don't know. It could supposed to be for Valentine's Day. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I'm up to it. Oh my gosh, I can't open this up. My hands are all wet from the from the rose water. There we go. Liquid liner. And I'm afraid I won't be able to do it again. Be able to get that look again. I was just goofing off. We'll see. We'll try it and then we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so. For me, at least when I'm doing this eye, I always start in the inside. Oh, okay. Of my eye and work my way out. It was just easier for me to do. Oh, well. Poor Natty, though. Been sanitizing. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, like, glad we have not gotten a flu yet. Because it is... No fun. And this eye... Liner did not want to work for me. Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's get some more. Need some more liquid. Still, poor girl. This has to stink. But no one else has it, right? It's just her. So I'm doing a wing here. I have some thick eyeliner right now. That's okay. We're working it. Okay, so the Rockstar eyeliner. What Brittany's talking about is what I did is I extended on my top line. I extended, well, I did extend it out, but yeah, knock on wood. Um, but I did bring it into the corner. I had originally extended it out, Brittany, before I sent you the picture and I but I wiped it off but then on the bottom see if I can redo this I went below my lash line and kind of made like an upside down wink Oops, and I blinked that's hard to do because you gotta like not blink oh there we go Otherwise, you're going to get some funky lines. And then I just went over the waterline again with the liquid liner. Or at least right on top of my lash lines. Like I said, it is... This was just for fun. Bye. Well, bye. play outside. Yeah, they are playing outside. Okay. Right. Yes, yeah, so you can go get your socks and shoes on. Yeah. So that is what Brittany is referring to through the Rockstar eyeliner. Let's see if we can do the other side. There. It's close to it, right? I know I was uh, probably not that that thick, but I wiped it off before I read it before I got on. Rockstar. Okay, you guys. If you like this but you don't want to do, you do not have to do the rock star liner, but it was just, we're gonna, we're having fun today. There is no rules in makeup. Okay, buddy. Get your socks and shoes on. There is no rules to makeup, just saying. You can, you can nix the, the rock star liner on the bottom. Yep. Yep. See, even he agrees.
All right, we're gonna try to do the other side the same way. Just thickening up the top here a bit. Nope, other foot, buddy. This. Put it on the other foot. This. This. Yep. Okay. He's gonna go play it. with the next door neighbor friends. Yep. Yep, step. Okay, and then of course do the wing. Okay. I'll be here. Let's see if I can match this up. <laughs> he knows. He knows when I'm in here, I'm doing it live. So my door is always closed. I just concentrate. Okay. And then again, we'll do the rock star. So if you like this side without this, the rock star, this is where you can end right here. But we're having fun. Like I said, there are no rules to make up. This is mommy's time. Mommy likes to be creative and have fun. Oh, you know what? I didn't, did I get? Yes, I did. Making sure I got the water line. So the rock star, you're just kind of lining your whole line. Kind of start in the corner and then line your lash line and then you're kind of I don't know where did I I think it looks like I started tapering off right by the eye Kinda almost looks the same. Love, yes. Extend it a little more. I do too. You know, normally like I was saying earlier in the video before, um, I normally do just the purples and I don't really do the pink, but this would, this reminds me of Valentine's Day. So. They're not that terribly even but you know it looks here you know what that's what um <laughs> concealer is for or a shine wipe which we I should have I should have grabbed my shine wipes mm. we'll see we'll fix it well, I guess that's the first time doing that. I just could just do this. Hold on. Having fun here, guys. Bear with me. So like I said, if you if you do like want to do this bottom. It's like doing a upside down wing. It's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> All right. So for first time, they're not too terribly even, but hey, it's fun. Yes, it's my it's my time. It's my relaxation time. You know, especially since I homeschool all those all four kids I just need I need the alone time so to make things even more rock star we're going to use epic mascara today and a 3d fiber lashes lashes plus so I use the epic first just to get the curl in volume and length and then 
I'm gonna hit it up with the 3D fibers. Woo woo. I think Kevin is gonna, <laughs> he's going to laugh when he sees this. This is, I, I wish I could like videotape his reaction to this. I would love to just watch it over and over again, I'm just saying. Alright, so I actually have my mascara sitting in a cup, a mug of warm water, because it is cold. And that just helps because it has a beeswax formula in it. It just helps loosen it up. Especially if you're having some clumping problems. Oh, do 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 do. snap it I will like afterwards or what like talk about it or just snap it and then just do that be done I don't really know how I, all I know is I can snapchat you and that's about it or friends I don't know like posting it for a story or just you know snap the picture and, and be done See, I haven't gotten I haven't gotten into that yet I just snapchat you <laughs> I Snapchat my bestie. So I'm going to do the other eye while it's, Epic is drying. Because you want Epic to dry before you put on the 3D lashes. The transplanting gel for that. And you guys, don't forget, there is free shipping with Epic Mascara. Or the 3D fiber lashes or you can get the duo and that's still free shipping any of our lash sets have and free shipping too I checked because I'm running well on both of these during the reaction then you can download it so you can post it on here okay during the reaction, I have to look into that. Record it. Oh, during the recorded, then you can download it. So you can, okay. Uh, I think Alex left my dog out. Just saying. Hello, hello. Thank you for the like. Alright, I'm sorry you guys, this is taking a while. Like I said, I'm super low on my Epic Mascara. Alright, onward to the 3D lashes. So you do the transplanting gel, and then the fibers, and then hit it off with the transplanting gel again. That way the fibers have something to stick because it takes, Epic dries in like 30 seconds. Okay. Alright, here comes the bobbers. I focus on the tips because if you go too low, these fibers will fall into your eyeballs and you don't want that. So focus on the tips. And you can put as little fibers, as many fibers on as you want. Do, do, do. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye while those fibers kind of settle on.
having fun on Friday. Woohoo! Hopefully it does not rain, although there is forecasted rain for us tomorrow. So I'm coming back and forth. I have the cup setting over here to the side so it doesn't spill all over my floor. <laughs> And now, seal them babies on. Seal the fiber lashes. So with the trim, when you do, you're sealing the, the, the fibers on, just worry about the tip where you put the fiber, your fiber lashes on. That way you're not dragging them down into your eyes. Uh-huh. I'm not a sir, I'm a ma'am. But hello. We are having fun. I... Thanks to my bestie went for a rock star liner today. Having fun. Alright, and then I like to put the gel on the bottom as well. All right, finished. <laughs> it does go a lot but easier when your mascara is not running low. Just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up with my concealer in Scarlet, and I actually got my blending bud today because I love this squishy blending bud. So I apply this with my concealer brush. I do have to be careful today because since I have this going on, I really have to be careful. I think that would be the only drawback with his liner today. So really, really, really carefully. I almost feel like this could be like a punk rock look too. But I love the pink. Hi, Becky. <laughs> I think we went a little crazy with the liner today. That's okay. Yeah, Brittany, Woody, what? I know Brittany's on, but you guys who, who are still on, what do you guys think of a Valentine's Day look series oh thank you you caught me live i'm thinking of doing valentine's day series makeup look series what do you guys think just blending us out and how are you doing becky how's how is the weather in victoria how's family in victoria doing Ooh, 
I got a like. Thank you. All right, just think I got. Yep, got all that all blended. I like using this bud. All is well waiting on summer. Yes. Yes. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow. When we have a March to Life thing going on tomorrow. So hopefully we won't get rained out with that. Alright, so I'm going to add do my bronzer. And just contouring my cheeks here. I'm actually going to do right there we go. And just bring it down. Not my hair though. <laughs> Watching where my shadow is on my cheeks here. Boop. And I'm doing the light pink. I should do the darker one, but that's okay. We're going to go with light pink. We're going to do serene blush, which has that gold sheen to it. Gold little flecks in there. We can sparkle all day. Tap. Tap. And just blend it out. Alright, and then we're doing some highlighting. Oh, excuse me. Using the color iridescent, which is a really blindingly white one. Because I'm blindingly white. <laughs> it is winter time. Alright. And you know I love this. Using this for the eyebrows. Create that lift from my little hoods there. That are going on. Although all these dark colors are probably not helping today. <laughs> and then right on my cheeks. Get that glow. Where all the light hits naturally. On my face. And then the nose. Down the nose. And then for those full lips. Do it. Right on the cupid bow. Okay. I think I am. I am done pretty much. Okay. So we have this really innovative little lipstick. <laughs> it's called Crust Lick. Lip powder. If I can talk today, that would be awesome. And so it's actually a little, there is powder in here. You can't really hear it, but it's powder in here. I'm going to open it up for you guys. And this is a full, this is a full size bottle, but it packs a whole lot in there. And so I don't know if you'll be able, but you can see it's a powder. It's a powder in there, but when you swipe it on, it goes on as a cream. And so this is part of our customer kudos this month. These are going away at the end of the month. But what I have been hearing, a lot of people, oh, there's, you can kind of see it. Like, there's the cream in there. There's the powder in there. But a lot of people are loving this. They're loving how smoothly it's going on. So this is my first time putting this on. But I've watched a lot of people and my friend Brittany, on, who's on here watching, uh, put this on. But it goes on... Just like normal lipstick and you don't really need a lip liner you can use a lip liner with this but it just it stays on there but just it just goes on smooth it's almost close to the um, the creaminess is close to the liquid lipsticks that we that are out there but when you put this on you definitely want to make sure your lips have been moisturized and and everything or it'll stick onto your your uh, dead skin but yeah I mean this is a little cool little nifty things that they have brought out And so I'm actually using the color Casual. There's three different colors. There's Casual, which is what I'm wearing right now. And then there is Curvasive. Cur cur I can't even see the words, y'all. Um, 
Curvaceous, which is this red color, and then there's Captivating, which is like this deep berry color. So casual, and I, what I've noticed is that like it'll take the pigmentation, the color that you end up with goes with the pigmentation. It grabs the pigmentation of your art, your lips that are already there. So what looks like this berry color close to sentimental may look like a pink color on someone else. That it is the beauty and the amazingness of these little, those lip crush lip powder. Alright you guys, this is my look. Didn't want to go the Rockstar liner, but I love my friend, my bestie, and we're doing it. I, I, I messaged her what she, sh what she thinks I should do. She was like, do the Rockstar. So I may need to fix this up later, but we'll do that. But you guys, yep, yeah, just wanted, let you, wanted to talk about our, the Lip Crush Powder. They're here until the end. Got free shipping with any order, with the order of, uh, if you order some mascara, Epic, or the 3D lashes, do that too. But yeah, this is probably the start of a Valentine's Day look series. So I hope you guys enjoy. You find value to this. Hit that share button if you think anyone's going to enjoy this rock star look. Hit that share button. You guys, I love you guys very much. Have a great Friday and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.